Good evening. This is Bell Geode, and we are back with some more Starfield. Okay, so after coming off of the uh, UC Vanguard portions of the quest, and of course the UC security thing where we had to investigate the alleged theft, I think it's time we get off the planet. I'm starting to get a little bit boxed in, and I know, it's an entire planet. How can you feel claustrophobic on a planet? Well, trust me, I am. Now, I did tell Sam Co that I would go to Aquila with him, but I also did tell Sarah that I was gonna see if we could find Barrett. I'm not quite sure what to do at this point. So I really don't know where we're going to go from here. But I do know one thing. I want to get off this rock. Just for a few. I promise I'll come back because let's face it, I do love the planet of Jemison. I still want to put down roots here, as it were. But, um, yeah. We're going to want to get off world. Do some fun stuff. Some adventure. So let's see what quests we have available. And then we'll start to figure it out from there. All right, so back to Vectera. Uh, we need to go pick up Barrett. I suppose we could do that. That should be pretty easy. Just go there, pick him up, and we're done. Alternately, <coughs> into the unknown, we could go to the Eye and meet with Vladimir Saul about finding more artifacts and fringes of space. And then there's Empty Nest, which is a Sam Cole one. He's currently on our spaceship. Both he and Cora left to go on a spaceship. There's our prismatic plumes, which I still haven't figured out how the heck we're going to complete that. Basically, it's a treasure hunt for one particular type of geological thing that we're looking for. That's going to involve a lot more surveying, and something tells me I'm going to need to start putting points into surveying. We do have this quick one that we could do, though. Destroy the Crimson Fleet Phantom II at Eridani. That I kind of want to do. So we might need to do that. Uh, this is from Neon. I don't believe I want... Oh, no, that's not from Neon. That's uh, the... That's the news lady. S-S-N-N. -N. It's like their version of CNN. So, yeah, that's the news lady. She wants to know about the attack on Vectera. Uh, I'm not sure I really want to do that. The news can wait. That's our buddy Kelton Frush, the doctor that's looking at the tree. Mm, not sure I want to do that. That's the one from Neon that I was thinking about. We kind of overheard that one. We really didn't intend to do that one. There's Alban Lopez sending out a distress call asking for help. We were actually on his planet that might be something we could pull off and then there's this one ground pounder a lot of spacer activity in the altair system okay rather than just uh traveling around a galaxy willy-nilly let's pick something and start and since i have this and this is like a quick bounty mission that'll give us some money we'll go ahead and do this one first all right so that's the plan man and you can see I'm wearing my Frontier gear. Because let's face it, I was kind of thinking of going to Aquila. And also I needed a change of clothes. Alright, so the Mantis stuff that we got, that's all been in here. I really haven't done a dang thing with the Mantis stuff. Because let's face it, it is the ugliest armor in game. But I might get like an armory for the ship and maybe just put the Mantis gear there. In the meantime, I don't know if I have an active companion right now. I want to say I probably don't. I also want to say... I'm listening. Sarah wants to be my active companion. Hello, Sarah. Something you need? Um, I need you, Sarah. Are you ready to head back out? Always. Point the way and we'll be off. Okay. Well, she seems pretty eager to go. All right, I like it. I like it. How about I close your door? I closed your door for you, okay? All right, let's get the hell out of here before everybody else decides to contact us. Yeah. 
Immediately. Sarah says she has things for me. What things do you have for me? Yeah, what is it? You're the one who said you had things for me. Come on, what, what do you have? Do you have anything interesting? Yeah, take a look at this. It's another leaf, Sarah. Thank you for the leaf. I'll pin it to my fridge tonight. So that way I can always see it whenever I go in the fridge to get a midnight snack, okay? So long. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. All right, I keep forgetting I can now fast travel, so let's just go straight to where the ship is. And here we are. I was about to say, every time something takes off, it sounds like something blew up. Good grief. So yeah, I'm really, uh, I'm really liking the ship, but I'm also really feeling like I may need to start changing some things up, like drastically in the design. I, of course, have been playing on the alternate save the alternate timeline, as it were. And I got a few ideas. Pleasant to see you. It is always pleasant to see you too, Vasco. Yeah, I got a few ideas, so we might, uh, we might implement them once I get a little bit more money and figure out what the hell I actually want to do with this damn ship. It's good to be back on board. Wow, you make it sound like I don't bring you anywhere. Sheesh. Oh, there she is. What's she doing up there? Hi. I'm gonna go fly now. Oh, and I'm still wearing my Vanguard gear. Technically, I'm off duty right now, so I should probably take that off, huh? We'll do that after. Okay, everything's powered up. Uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, I was going to say, I'm trying to get that grav drive up. You know what? While we're here, since we're in orbit, maybe we should go see this uh, Vladimir guy at the eye. Might as well get that the heck out of the way because we're literally right here. So let me put on my scanner. All right, where exactly is the eye? Hmm, I don't see it. You know, you don't really realize just how many ships are in the area until you actually take off and fly around. Ah, there it is, the eye. Okay. All right, let's go meet this Vladimir character. Wait, is that it? Sam, uh, last month, did you explore that system I asked about? I was expecting a report. Well, I meant to, but then I caught an SOS and it led to this whole goose chase. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> so, did you do it? He did not do it. No, I mean, I meant to, but then it became this whole thing. An ambassador was involved. Just say no, man. How just say no. I just assign it to someone else then. Uh huh. That, uh, that may be best. 
Yeah, you know she's going to assign it to me. You know that's what's coming next. That's why I can overhear everything they're saying on their radios. I swear. So I was going to say, this thing doesn't look all that impressive, but the closer I get to it, the more it does. Let's slow down a little bit and fly around it. Let's put it at about 20 speed. That actually looks pretty cool. Hold on a second here. Hold the phone. You know what I gotta do, folks. You know what I gotta do. You don't even have to ask. Don't even have to ask. Yeah. Oh yeah, that looks great. Matter of fact, we can roll the camera too. Let's roll it this way. And we'll get a little bit of field of view action going here. Oh, that's just perfect. Look at that. So we got the star, Alpha Centauri. Oh, that's going to look awesome as our title shot. Look at that. You got the entire planet of Jemison. You got the eye. You got the frontier. It doesn't get any better than that. Okay. So, I guess we target this. Hail. Aha. Uh -huh. The eye is always open to constellation. Huh, sounds like a Russian dude. Okay. Well, uh, I'm going to stop here just so I don't bump into this thing. And I'm guessing we need to dock, like, right here. We really don't need to do all of this maneuvering that I'm doing. I'm just trying to be more immersive, shall we say. All right, right here is good. And dock. Okay. Well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this damn thing off. Probably put it in the captain's locker. Do I have anything in there now? I do not. Okay. Well, here's what we're going to do. Spacesuits. We're going to put back on my nifty bounty hunter spacesuit. So equip that. Put that away. Boost pack. Uh, I'm already using this one, which is what I want. I don't think I'll need the power pack just yet. But that's a good reason why I need to uh, put some points into spacesuit modification. Because I, I can change this power pack, which I actually like with the Bounty Hunter suit, from a power boost pack to a balanced boost pack once I get high enough in skill. But this, we're going to get this off of me because, honestly, the Bounty Hunter stuff is heavy enough as it is without me needing to carry around three boost packs. So we'll click on that, and that'll get rid of that. Hold on to this just in case I need to go stealth. And the helmet. Yeah, we want this on. This off. Okay. Oh, and I've got a bunch of weapons, too. I'm going to put my Technophiles Beowulf in here. I do plan on using it, or maybe I can give it to one of my followers, but for right now, I want it in a safe place. This is a safe place. Tesla Old Earth Pistol? Looks like a 1911. Oh, wow. Damages and slows nearby targets, so this ain't your ordinary pistol. Okay, well, we'll put it away. But this solstice here, uh, we will put that in a regular cargo bin. Typically, I like to only carry the weapons that I have favorited. And to be honest with you, I don't really use all of them, so I might take some of them off. Hint, hint, looking at you, professional solstice. 
All right, but there we go. We got all that stuff in the captain's locker. Now, as long as I don't make any changes to the ship, it will stay in the captain's locker. The moment I start messing around in the ship, it's going to take everything in here and move it to here. All right, so for here, we're just going to put the solstice in there and call it done. And I'm currently using the... EM Equinox. Why am I using the EM Equinox? I guess for that last quest. All right, let's put it to the Orion because I really need to start getting my laser skills back up here. So we use that. Uh, long barrel, laser sight, focus nozzle, ignition beams. I did make some modifications as I'm sure you probably recall. And then there's that with the Constellation skin. Literally the only weapon that I've found in the game that has a custom skin, aside from the Cutter. And it's got a Constellation skin. Like, seriously? And this is the, cut the Cutter's uh, custom skin, by the way. All right. But I think we're good to go. I suppose I'll grab Sarah. I say that, but I know she's just gonna come with me. Hi. Don't even think about assigning me whatever it was that you assigned Sam. Let's just get that out of the way from now, right? I'm already doing enough. I got enough on my plate. All right, let me go meet your Russian friend here. Oh, I keep forgetting. I'm not going down. I'm going up. Haven't set foot on the eye for ages. Hope Vladimir is in a good mood today. Oh... That's a bit of an ominous start, don't you think? How about I'm gonna save? And I just realized, now that she's wearing the nice, uh, cute outfit there, I'm gonna go match her. I'm gonna take off my damn Frontier apparel. I don't want the lab coat. We're gonna go with that. Yeah, baby. That. And a farmer hat because the hat stays on. Okay. So, let's see what we got here. Hello. Hi, Vasco. Oh, wow. They are not kidding. They are really not kidding. This is full-on space station here. It's interesting that we've got gravity because it doesn't even look like the station's rotating. Or is Captain, it... Greetings. Greetings, Vasco. Or is it one of those deals where it's magnetized? Maybe all of our feet, shoes, robot claws are magnetized to the ground? Is that what this is? Wow, look at that view. Holy crap. Sarah, come over here. That's just flipping awesome. Sarah, you didn't tell me how beautiful it looks here. Holy shit, Sarah. Sarah! I'm taking a picture, damn it. You can't stop me. I'm taking a picture. Look at that. You know, you really get a sense of scale with these ships. Wow. Imagine if this had native VR, huh? I know, I keep saying it. Of course I'm gonna say it, it's this channel. This channel is dedicated to VR. And speaking of which, I did find out that there is a way that you can now use Vorpex with this game. I just haven't updated my Vorpex yet to use it, but I'm probably going to try that in the near future, which to me is uh, several weeks behind when you're seeing this video. So you may already know by the time you're watching this video that I already tried it in VR. Might make a special episode for that like I did with the uh, verbal thing. Wow, that is wild. Seriously. And this is all Constellations property? Sarah, I'm impressed, Hi. baby. Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting. But I am 
dissatisfied with the results. Okay. None of this is stealing, so I'm going to assume I can take it all. Which will make Vladimir even grumpier, I guess. Oh, hi, Broom. I just like opening and closing things, really. There's more stuff I can open and close. Doesn't have a whole hell of a lot of stuff in here. But then I'm guessing he also lives up here alone. Is that our takeaway for this? I'm not gonna take his rhubarb stuff. Even in game, I don't like rhubarb. Sheesh. All right, what do we have here? Scanning control. Who's this dude? Wait, is that Vladimir? Sarah, where are you? You didn't tell me Vladimir was a brother. Ladies and gents, we got us here a genuine 100% Black Russian. Do those even exist? I guess so. It's 2330. It's not 2023. Sarah, get in here. What is with that girl? Good grief. I'm going to wait till she comes in here. I'm not talking to this guy until she's in here because she's like my vote of confidence person. Sarah! Get it together, girl. Come on. Oh, she is not coming in. She's just going to hang out there. Okay, well, don't mind me, man. I'm, I'm just like, you know, making an ass out of myself here, trying to get Sarah to come in. There she go, right there. Okay. Sir, let us speak. We got a rook on deck. I'm sorry, Good what? To see Constellation getting some fresh blood. Oh, a rookie. Okay. We're going to go with the fitness option. Uh, here, I thought I was the only one in Constellation who worked out. Nice arms, bro. Ah, gotta pass the hours on the star station somehow. And the iron's always been good to me. I hear you. I hear you. Just ya. don't challenge him to an arm wrestling competition. <laughs> I'll try Wish not I wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together. But I got a little lost peeking through the eye. Ah, okay. So, um, yeah, that does happen to me, too. I get lost in something and I lose track of time. For example, present company, the game. Always preferred working alone, even around people I like. Me, too. But we're all working together on this one. No finer group in the stars to be unraveling this mystery. All right. Well, I agree with you on that. Now, this station, mm -hmm. the eye. Rigged up for deep space scans. Okay. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. I see. But the data takes a slow ride along the sea of light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. Wait, years, decades, sea of light? What, what, what are you talking about, buddy? No matter how good the scan, it's still just peeking at light. Oh. And she only has one speed. Light speed. That uh, makes sense. Ultimately, we're not looking at a planet. We're looking at the radiation coming off a planet. And that takes years to get here. I see. A lot of interstellar bodies in the way, too. All that noise makes squaring the circle harder. Only going to be able to give you so many at once. Right. Okay, so one artifact at a time is what I'm getting here. All right, um, but you're asking me to chase ghosts, though. If it takes the light that long to get here, there could be nothing there by the time I get there, regardless of my grav drive. Wouldn't be tipping your ear if I thought it was a waste of time. Oh. Giving you the best of what's available. No more. Got it, got it. Okay. You won't be the only constellation out there. Andresia and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Andresia? Mateo went out recently, but Andreja, it's been a while. 
Hate to pull a worried old man act on you, but I'm an old man and I'm worried. About Andresia. Okay, uh, who's Andresia? Y'all are just throwing me these names like I'm supposed to know them. Thankfully, I know Mateo. I talked to him. Another rook in Constellation who's making a name for herself. Great. Likes to be on her own. I can relate, so I try to look out for her more than most. So basically, we're a bunch of introverts in this group. Okay. I feel welcome. All right, I'll keep an eye out for Andresia then. Yes, indeed. Stop worrying so much, Vladimir. If she's out there, we'll find her. We'll, huh? She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but we all need backup sometimes. Hmm, okay. Anyway, hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile, and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Well, all Happy right. Happy hunting. Thank you, Vladimir. You know, I'm just gonna start calling you Cherny Vrosky. And long, long, long time viewers of this channel will know exactly what I mean when I say Cherny Rossi. Yeah, it's literally Russian for Black Russian. <laughs> okay, so I guess we could ask him all kinds of different stuff. So your artifact search must be a full-time job, huh? That's why I missed your little welcome party. Got it. Got caught up plotting all the data the eye can give us. Hmm, okay. Wouldn't mind the helper's hand, though. Could speed the process along. I am so not working in the space station. Up-to-date planetary scans would help filter all the data I have to sift through. Maybe help to find the anomalous bits. Oh? And Constellation can slide a credit or two your way. All part of the mission of charting the stars, right? Right. I see what you're saying. Survey data. Okay, I... I can do that. Then we're hand in hand in agreement. Now, get out there and burn some helium. Oh, not so fast, bro. Not so fast. I actually have some survey data for you. I've been holding on to this for a couple of weeks now. And the darkness gets lit just the candle more. Well, all right, let's do business. Finally, okay, so this is the person you can sell it to. Now, if you remember in a previous episode when I looked at this stuff, I think we were in the den, if I'm not too mistaken. It was like 400 or 600 that they were going to give me for selling this stuff. These are all the planets that we've surveyed since the beginning of the series. And you can see each one is worth 1293 So this sounds like I am back in the surveying business. So we're going to sell it all. That is so awesome. So just like that, I made a ton of money. Okay, I'll be seeing Vladimir a lot more often. And clearly now I have an excuse to do some more surveying in my downtime when I'm not recording. Awesome. So they keep talking about this Crimson Fleet and piracy and so on. Is that your backstory? You're retired from the Crimson Fleet? Usually it doesn't. I'm overdrawn from Lady Luck three times over. It's a long tale to tip your ear on, but if you ever wanted to visit, I have a house out there in the Starfield. A house? Thought I was going to see life's eclipse from there, but Constellation swept me away. Haven't been there since we started on the eye. A house? If you do go there, turn the lights off when you leave, okay? You're just going to give me the key to your house? Well, all right, Journey Rossi. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll... Sarah, your friend Vladimir just gave me the key to his house. I say we get going. We're totally not going to check it out now, but we'll put that one on the list of things to do. I should probably pick up this broom, huh? But nah. Hello. Hi. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. I am satisfied to have survived, Vasco. Now let's go before Sarah plunges those daggers from her eyes deep into my heart. Oh, wow. Sorry, folks. I got sidetracked yet again. I didn't realize that the planet actually moves. I mean, I knew it moves, 
because obviously we've got a day-night cycle, but I didn't realize they actually modeled that from in space. That's so cool. Matter of fact, the only thing that's really missing is the clouds don't appear to move. Unless I'm just missing that part. Wow, either way, I'm gonna save. Hi, you're, you've got like the weirdest skin tone right now up here. The lighting is not doing you any favors, sister. Captain, do you require my assistance? Um, no, just make sure that you get on board because we're gonna undock in a second. I don't suppose I have time for a nap before we leave, hmm? <laughs> Sarah, this is as much your ship as mine. You can do whatever the hell you want. Whatever the hell you want, Miss Morgan. Boss lady. Okay, we still have stuff to do. And step one is undock. That's a really nice space station. I'm actually glad we did that little side trip there. That was awesome. All right, let's go full power. Oh, wow, my speed looks pathetic, 62 speed. Yeah, we definitely need to like upgrade these engines, upgrade our reactor, all of that good jazz. But our weapons should be good to go, so you know what? Let's get that bounty taken care of. Eridani, we have definitely been there before. And here we go. Punch it, Sarah. Okay, where are we? Eridani 1. All right, yeah, we've definitely hey, been here. here. Uh, could you please spare a ship part? A rookie here may have sideswiped an asteroid. Needs some repairs. A ship part. Okay. Why do I feel like this might be a trap? Where are they at? Uh, All sir? All we need is enough to do some field repairs to just get back to home dock. Okay, okay. Stand by. I'm going to slow down here. Come to a complete stop. Keep this guy right in my reticle. We're all out of options. Okay, cool your jets, buddy. I had a good feeling about you. We just need a little. Two units of ship parts will do. I suppose that'll make up for my not being able to help uh, Mrs. Whitmore several days ago. Here you go. Two ship parts. You're a lifesaver. Here. Take these for your help. What is it? Oh, 1,800 credits. Okay, thank you. Good luck out there. Well, that was easy. All right, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, Eridani. They just jumped out. You saw that weird blue flash. Oh, we haven't been here before. Well, hell. There's two items that we can get. Okay, where is it sending us to is the real question. It's sending us to one of the gas giants. All right, folks. Since I now know Mr. Vladimir, I got a quick idea. You know me. I got to sidetrack us. That's just my thing. You know I do that. So here's the plan. So we're here, right? I'm gonna land really quick and see if we can find this chlorine and uranium that they're saying this planet has. Then we'll go here. We're gonna survey here because I happen to know for a fact with gas giants, all you need to do is just survey it from space and you're completed. Then we'll go here, which of course will give us the Crimson Fleet Pirate 
And then, of course, we'll do this gas giant as well. So we got gas giant, gas giant, or technically that's an ice giant. I'm not sure if that counts, but I guess we can find out. Yeah, it might count. And there's a gas giant there. So we could potentially get three surveys done in one episode. I like our odds. All right, let's let's uh, let's go back to Eridani. And let's pick a nice portion of the planet to land on. There's no animal, there's no vegetable, but there is a lot of minerals. So let's, um, let's hide resources here so I can see what the landmass looks like. Okay, I'm assuming this is all water here. No, it says there's no water. So what are these oceans made of? Let's find out. Uh, I hope it's not uranium oceans. Rocky desert. Rocky desert. Rocky desert coast. You know what? That's good enough for me. Land. Really, the only thing I wanted to do is kill the, Kim the Crimson Fleet guy, but there's only going to be one ship, and it goes by so quickly, so I'm not even worried about it right now. Wow, what an alien-looking world. All right, well, I'm ready. I am ready. Let's go grab Sarah. Sarah, come on. We got work to do, baby. And now we're going down. I can't even imagine to tell you the number of inhospitable worlds like these that I've visited. I hope that's not a complaint. You're an explorer, remember, Miss Morgan? That's why you took the mantle of leadership for this group? Okay, so what do we have? Extreme heat. How can I be of service, Captain? Uh, watch the ship, Vasco. Just watch the ship. That's all you need to do. What's the gravity like? 0.77. That's natural. Okay, so we've got three traits that we're going to need to grab. Here's our uranium. Oh, wow, we got both of them at once. Nice. Okay. So we just need to find our traits then. We're going to stay away from the structures because I guarantee you any structures that we get involved with, all of that is going to be um, man-made, which is going to lead to maybe pirates or spacers or ecliptics and all that crap, and I really didn't sign up for any of that rubbish today. I'm thinking I need to put a point into my boost pack as well, too, so it uses less gas. Although the gravity is a little higher here. But I'm only able to get like three good pushes out of that, even using my uh, alt key, which as we now know, the alt key allows you to travel more horizontal than vertical. See, that's the space bar. And that's the Alt key. So the Alt key just kind of gives you a push forward. But yeah, I feel like we can probably get this done quickly, provided, of course, we can find the other two traits. We're about 230 meters away, so not too far. Not too far. I'm not planning on picking stuff up, so I won't get over-encumbered. Ooh, look at that. Crystals. That must be our um, thing that we're looking for. And I lost Sarah. Nope, there's Sarah. Hi, Sarah! And there it is. Okay. That's it. 
Warm mineral springs. Okay, crystalline minerals. And look at that, level 18. Okay, okay, let's use it right now. There's so much stuff that I need to put skill points into, but I only get one damn skill point. So I'm thinking... Uh, okay, well, I do want to get this weapon engineering and spacesuit engineering, but I need to spend one more point in science. So it's either going to be surveying or medicine. I can live without medicine as long as I've got a crap ton of med packs and trauma packs, so we can bypass that. Astrodynamics, that's a starting uh, skill, so I don't need to worry about that unless I want to make my grav drives more effective, which I really don't care about them. As long as I can jump, that's all I care about. So surveying right now is a good option, or boost pack training. Using a boost pack expends less fuel. Now, if I do this, it is with the goal of getting stuff like Starship design so I can use the higher level parts. Even though I know there are glitches and cheats available to get higher level Starship designs, I'm doing a quote-unquote lawful playthrough here, so I'm not going to be using any mods or any cheats or console commands or anything on this YouTube series. So if you want that, there's other channels for that. This is not it. EM weapons boost assault training. Nearby enemies take damage when you boost and have a chance to catch on. F oh, wow. And also hovering. Oh, wow. As much as I know I need the surveying increase, I'm thinking we're going boost pack. There we go. Let's see how well it works. Okay, so now we got a boost in combat, too. And that will make it go better. Uh, in the meantime, let's get the scanner back on. Hi, Miss Morgan. Am I boring the ever-living crap out of you? I bet you're feeling sorry you left the lodge to come with me now, aren't you? Hmm? Also, you're not fooling me. I know how you feel about me. You just won't say it. I dare you, Sarah. I double dog dare ya. I triple dog dare ya. Ah, oh, sweet. Now I can get four boosts out of that. I'm okay with that. There's one, two, three, four. Almost got a fifth one. Almost. Okay, but we really don't need to walk the whole way back. Yeah, might as well, because we got that skill too. That's the fastest boost pack ever. Scalding liquid thunderstorm. Oh, hell no. I didn't sign up for this crap. Oh, and I just realized there are port and starboard lights on my ship. Look at that. See the green light there? That's obviously the starboard side. And if we look on this side, there you go, there's a red light. Who the flip knew? All right, let's find a different spot to land on and we'll see if we can find the other two traits and well, get this done fun. quickly. Now what? Well, don't take off your spacesuit yet because we're just gonna go to a different part of the planet. Hi, Sam. All right, we're gonna get this done quick. We'll go to the uh, gas giants and then we'll kill that crimson fleet person. Okay, so once again, we'll open this up. We'll open this up. And we'll pick another cool spot to land on. So that was the coastline. Uh, maybe we should pick something that is not coastline. Desert, maybe? Yeah, I'm thinking desert might do it. And something preferably away from these clouds, because I'm thinking that has something to do with why we're getting that uh, 
whatever rain there. All right, rocky desert. Okay. As long as my spacesuit doesn't rip. And we should probably save. I'll do that after I get out of my seat. Where every time I land somewhere, there's some kind of civilization. These planets are supposed to be barren and desolate. Why is there civilization everywhere? And by civilization, I mean somebody strip mining the damn place. Humans, huh? They never learn. Hello, Captain. Hello, Vasco. Same as before. Okay, natural we already got. Wait, what is that? That's a different icon. Hazard. Okay, that's a new one on us. Structure. That's man-made. All right, let's do the old jumperoo again. I'm gonna get to the top of that little hill and then we'll uh, do the old jumperoo. Get that done. Not quite sure what the third icon is gonna be, but I'm pretty sure this hazard here might actually be our second icon. If it turns out that that takes a little too long, then we'll just come back and I'll do it off camera. I won't subject you to all of that. But yeah, I'm glad that I uh, spent the points in boost pack there, because that's really helping. Look how quickly we just, like, got over that gap. That's perfect. That is perfect. This is what I needed. Okay, zero of one to scan. Where is the thing to scan? I'm just going to go up here until I see something. Ouch. Okay, corrosive gas. Watch out for that. Sarah, do you see, do you see anything here? Because I sure as hell don't. Oh, wait, no, found it. Thermal craters. It's a shame there's no prismatic plumes. That would be nice, huh? All right, that's a structure, so that's going to be man-made. Sarah, you're in the way again. And this is what I like now that I actually have a better idea of what I'm doing in this game after the early access period was over. Things go a lot quicker. Surveying is not nearly as tedious as it was before. I say that even though we spent, what, the last 15, 20 minutes doing this? All right, hang tight, folks. I'm going to check out one more biome and see if we can find what we need. Probably should have checked out that natural thing, but I figured it would probably be crystals again. So the design of this ship, currently as it is, as I was watching it in a cutscene when we took off there, actually reminded me of something that I used to love as a kid. Those of you who are older in the audience, or just those of you who, you know, remember your old TV shows, may remember a show called Space 1999. They had a ship, their main ship that they used there, that pretty much was like the same shape or similar to um, what we're currently flying right now. All right, rocky desert. 
That's rocky desert. Is there anything else? Volcanic. You know what? Let's try volcanic. But yeah, it kind of reminds me of that ship. And I remember having um, the toy of that ship as a kid. I used to love the hell out of that thing. Whenever I'd play with my Star Wars action figures and so on, they didn't have the Millennium Falcon at the time. So they all rode around in the Space 1999 ship. It's funny how the subconscious works. I say all of that because as I look at my ship design, I'm thinking it's a subconscious nod to that very show that I loved as a kid. Now all I need is a companion named Maya. And again, those of you who are familiar with the show, then you'll probably recognize that name as well. All right, let's go. Remember, some life forms don't need spacesuits, so keep your eyes open. Sarah, do you really think there are life forms here? Good day, Captain. Good day, Vasco. Again. Right, that's the structure. That sounds like a life form that needs a spacesuit, Sarah. Also sounds like they're about to park their asses over there. Okay, clearly we're gonna avoid all of this stuff here. Ah, there we go, that's what we're looking for. That is what we're looking for, 370. Wait till it fully charges up and boost. Nice. Okay. What in the hell was that? Sarah, where are you? There you are. No, for real, what the hell was that? Is that volcanic activity? It's gotta be volcanic activity. Okay, uh, let's get airborne again. We need to get the hell out of here real quick. Oh, what have we here? Sulfur pools, uranium pools. Nice. Okay, we're done. A fumarole field containing recently erupted superheated gas vents indicates active volcanic chain. Okay. That's all I need to see. Let's get the hell out of here. All right. I need the landing spot. Yep. Landing area. No, not Sarah Morgan. Damn it, Sarah. Ugh, I don't like that rain. I don't like my corrosive, scalding rain. Greetings, Captain. Greetings, Vasco. Get your ass in the ship. We're heading out of here. And just like that, we're done with this planet. So we got one that we can now turn into Vladimir the next time I see him. And... We can still scan the gas giants on our way to grab that bounty. I love the crackle of the engines as you go off in a distance there. Okay, I'm gonna use the map for this. Let's back out of that. I want to go here first, so that way we can scan it real quick, and then we'll go here, scan that real quick. 
Um, we've been to Eridani too, I thought. I guess not. And then we'll go here and go after our guy. So we'll make it quick, quick, quick. Bam, bam, bam. Here we go. Set course. Travel. Oh boy. Is that friend or foe? Space or jackal? All right, time to get my weapon systems up. I'm not even giving you the time of day, buddy. Not even giving you the time of day. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm not liking this. Not liking this at all. Yeah, I got your payday for you. I got your payday for you. Alright, we need some more speed out of this. Holy crap, we're dead! Where did I last save? Are you flipping kidding me? Wow. Wow. Folks, there is no way in hell I'm going to subject you to all of that again. Needless to say, lessons were learned. Sarah, I had another bad dream. Sarah, don't run away from me. I had a bad dream. I dreamt we blew up in space, Sarah. I dreamt we were killed by pirates. I really don't want to leave the eye right now. Let's just hang out here. We'll, like, eat dinner or something. I guess I can't sit there with you. So, you know what? I'm just going to stay here on this side of you and stare at you and Jemison, and I'm going to thank you all for watching. This has been Belgeold, who only lives twice, or something like that. No, multiple lives. So yeah, thank you for watching. This has been Belgeold, and I've been playing Starfield, and holy crap, you know what I'm doing off camera as soon as I stop recording. I gotta redo that whole damn thing all over again. But if you enjoy what you've seen, please feel free to give me a like and don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, don't forget to remind me in the comments to save freaking often. Holy crap. <laughs> Alrighty, folks, I'll catch you on the next one. Well, at least it's less than an hour this time. Ciao.